Welcome to our third lesson uh, on stoichiometry. This one we will be converting mass to moles and mass to mass. So let's take a look at how to do these conversions. So the molar mass is the mass of one mole or 6.022 times 10 to the 23rd power of particles of anything. So remember I talked about elements and atoms when you talk about those one mole of them is equal to their gram atomic mass in the periodic table tile for that element however when you are talking about a compound the mass of molar mass of the compound is the sum of all the masses of all the atoms in one mole of the chemical formula here's an example for you so here's aluminum nitrate al NO3 three times and there's one mole because there's not a coefficient in here. So the mass of this substance is aluminum molar mass from the periodic table times one. There's only one mole and nitrogen times three plus oxygen times three times three is nine. So today we will be using a conversion factor divide, mass divided by mole or mole, one mole divided by molar mass it will become clear to you which one to use. So here are the instructions. If you want to write them down, that's fine. But all you need to know is you start with the balanced chemical reaction and then you need to calculate the molar mass for the substances whose grams is given or whose grams you have to find. And then you will use the mole, one mole is divided by molar mass or molar mass is divided by one mole factor in your calculation. And you also start with the given unit and the given value. Um, and then the steps are the same, they self-guide based on what you cancel. This is what you need to remember. If you have a mass to mass conversions, there will be three separate factors after you write the given amount and a total of two factors with mass and moles. But if you do a simpler mass and moles conversion, you will only have two factors and one factor with mass and moles. So let's look at a simple conversion. Before we do that, here is the molar mass uh, conversions overview and we will be going through here. You can do mass to mass but you will have a moles to moles conversion between the two com compounds in your reaction we are talking about or you can go from moles to mass or mass to moles or any factor thereof. Here is our first problem. This was the same one we balanced in lesson 2. So it's asking how many grams of oxygen here is required to produce uh, 4.82 moles of water. This sum. So we are dealing with this guy and that guy. So you need to calculate the molar mass of water. So O2, uh, sorry, oxygen. Um, so because you are given grams of oxygen and that is O times 2, oxygen is 16 grams in the periodic table tile and you're going to multiply it by 2 and so you get 32 grams. That means one mole of oxygen um, atoms, molecules, will have 32 grams of mass. And then you're going to start with the given value which is this one. And then you're going to multiply it by a factor and you're going to put moles of H2O at the bottom. And then since you have to go to moles of the other thing, just like before, you're going to put the moles of oxygen on top. Here is where you put the mole to mole ratio from the balanced equation. So water will be 2 and oxygen will be 3. And then you cancel out moles of oxygen water with moles of water. Next you have this guy left. You need to cancel him. So the second factor will have moles of H2O at the bottom and here's where you connect the grams and moles, the molar mass. So you're going to say one mole of O2 is equal to the molar mass of O2 here. And so you're going to put one mole here and the molar mass we calculated over here. Next you're going to cancel moles of O2 with moles of O2 and now you only have the numbers left. 
So now you're going to fish out the numbers on the top. You have these three guys and then you divide it by 2. And then you get this answer. And next we are going to look at a question to multiply, uh, sorry, to find the answer to this. And we will do that in the next video. And this is all for now. I will see you in the next video.